Hello guys, today I want to share an example of cyclic load of a frame. So this is the result. As we can see, the frame is consists of beam elements. It is I beam. So let me show the movie. It is it deformed under the cyclic load, and we can get the plastic deformation. As we can see, part of the elements at the bottom happened plastic deformation. Here, but it's small. Here, so here is the displacement. We can also get the cyclic code. I'll show you at the last. So, uh, let me take you through the example. The first part, we have only one part here. It is 2D deformation deformable frame and here is the sketch here yeah. it's a simple sketch and I can give you the dimension And all have equal length. So this is the sketch. Uh, then we go to the property module. Here we need to define a uh, define material property. Here we define ideal plastic material. The elastic and plastic the air stress is 345 megapass and there are two different beam the second The second property, oh, sorry. the second material is just elastic, and the yes modular is very big. We can think it as rigid. Then we need to create two different sections. Before that, we have the beam section. It is I shape beam. Here is the dimensions. So, after we have the profile, we can create the beam section. Pick beam, continue. Here we have the different material and the profile. Then we need to assign the section property to the frame. We can see the different frame. 
here the horizontal horizontal beams are a spear beam and the vertical ones a steel beam. So here are two different material of L shaped beams. We need to assign the we need to assign the orientation of the beam. So this is okay. We click OK <coughs> to complete the step. Then we go to assembling module and make it a instance. In the step module, we create a static general step. It is a time. It has time period of 63 seconds because it is there is a cyclic load so here I define the increment size to output the history curve I have created some set The four node is boundary condition is fixed, and the, the three node has output so here we have two set node set in the history output we can define the set. Field output an um, output variable displacement and here is the reaction force of the fixed nodes. So the next module interaction, there is no interaction. We didn't define anything. In the load module, we need to fix the four nodes in Castro. And then we have a cyclic displacement load at the right top node and here is the amplitude displacement in addition we need to define an amplitude curve we can see the amplitude table here It has uh, 64 lines, but we can see the curve in we can see the curve here. Amplitude plotter and the re -hit plot. So here is oh, sorry. So here is the displacement load as time increases, the displacement is bigger. So here is the 
boundary condition and the load. Then we need to create the mesh. We give the mesh size of 0 0.05 and mesh it. Then we send the element type. Here it is a beam family <coughs> and linear element. So there are B21 element type. Okay, so after all of this, we can create the job and submit it. I have completed this, this job so I can see the results. Here we can see the code. The reaction and the displacement you can see this is the displacement of the three node. It has the same chain but has little difference and here is the four fixed nodes the reaction force and they are almost the same they are almost the same Maybe a little different. So we can also get the cyclic code and we combine it. Sorry, combine it. Displacement, extra force, pass it. So here is the cyclic of displacement and reaction force. Here we can see the We can see the deformation and the curve at the same time. So that's the example I want to share today. Uh, I hope you can learn something from this. So if you are interested in Abacus CAE, you can subscribe my channel and thank you for watching.